On Monday, December 9th, at around 2 p.m., Del Coonrod and his two dogs entered White Rock Lake Dog Park, where my wife and I were spending the afternoon with our dog and two friends. Moments later, Mr. Coonrod kicked my dog with full force for what I assumed was playing too rough with his dog. When I approached Mr. Coonrod to check in with him and his dog, he became instantly aggressive and responded, you need to control your animal, you F.A.D. I backed away from Mr. Coonrod and asked him if we could de-escalate the situation. He continued to walk in the same direction as me towards my wife and friends. He was yelling obscenities at us and threatening to call the police. When I questioned the language that Mr. Coonrod was using towards us, he replied, my wife is black and she's a B. I call her an F and B all the time. Mr. Coonrod started aggressively approaching me when my wife stepped in front of him, asking him to leave the area. At this point, Mr. Coonrod used both of his hands to shove my wife in the chest, causing her to knock into our friend and continued coming towards me. Mr. Coonrod shoved my wife again while I was getting my phone to call the police. Mr. Coonrod then took his phone out of his pocket, informing us that he was calling the police. I started to take a video of him out of fear that he may really physically harm one of us. You can see the immediate rage in Mr. Coonrod's face when he looked up from his phone to see that I was recording him. Mr. Coonrod then came at me, striking my hand and wrist several times, knocking my phone out of my hand and onto the ground. When I bent down to retrieve my phone, Mr. Coonrod kicked it away from me, grabbed me by the back of my neck, and held my head down for a few seconds until my wife was able to get him off of me. I have never been more scared for my life than I was in that moment. Mr. Coonrod used excessive, inexcusable physical force to respond to a situation that commonly happens at the dog park. My friends felt powerless to help outside of begging Mr. Coonrod to stop being physically violent with us and asking bystanders for help. The amount of fear and trauma that Mr. Coonrod has caused all of the people involved in this incident is unreal. Situations like this have ended in some ways. I was definitely in fear for mine and my wife's after Mr. Coonrod proved that he lacked the self-control to act appropriately and respectfully in a very common dog park scenario. I am so thankful for the support of our friends and community during this traumatic time. We are healing and looking forward to justice being served in this case.